How about this one? What kind of pressure did you experience whilst being professional skaters? Why do you think they happened and what would you change looking back? Not only the act of skating, but also from the demands of being a pro skater from Willie Sorry. I like that name, Willie Sorry. Oh, sorry. Mm-hmm. Mm, nice. What kind of pressures did you experience being a pro skater? I feel like, oh, Justin, go ahead. I you can, two, I think, are the most longest pro skaters that are here. Yeah, I can lead this one because I, I, uh, this shit fucked me up a little bit you Mm. know what i mean like coming out the way i came out and um in my personal uh life having to um you know be that guy and by the way just to circle back when you said coming out the way that you came out Mm. was actually just being thrust into the yeah right video right and here you are yep and you didn't even know you were going to be in that video no so now you're that guy. Yeah. Yeah. So go Overnight. ahead. Yeah. yeah. Go it, ahead. I just it, want to preface that. Yeah. 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 yeah for people sure. People don't know, don't know. Sorry. I should have. No, you're sure good. No, that. no. It's, yeah. Um, but yeah, just going through life, like being that and then like having to go to demos and do, do this. And in the beginning it was, it was cool. You know, like I loved it. But then at the, at the end of the day, that kind of like weighed on me. Like if I, in my head, I was like, if I, I'm not doing shit first try, or right. like, if I'm not doing the dopest shit here, like, it's not me, you know? Like, that's what they want, is this guy that's, like, came out and did this thing, you know what I mean? So it's like, at the end of the day, that kind of fucked me up a little bit, but I don't know, you know? I could see that. I mean, look, you, you came out fucking, like, like no other, in that sense. Yeah, Where yeah. Now you have your expectations. When people see you, that's what they expect you to do. And as a fan, I remember... There was a demo at KC Indoor. This was like right after Hot Chocolate. And we had this weird little rail. And I, as a fan, was like, no, you nose grind it. Yeah. And you're like, no, nah, it's too small. I was like, what? No matter the size. But I just re- remember as a fan looking at you, was like, what do you mean? You're the guy. Right? <laughs> That's what you do. <laughs> right. And not understanding. So I can see how that pressure yeah. would be. Yeah. And I think, too, that there are certain companies that you get on that you are put on a pedestal. Yeah. You yeah. know, there's like a girl in chocolate, like, Back then, when you got on and when I got on, like all of a sudden, like you get put on this like pedestal, mm-hmm. and I kind of dealt with that same same stuff as yep. like the expectations, you know, like because I, I never thought of me as like the best skateboarder. I just right. thought of me as like I just do my thing, you know. I'm no Eric Costin, I'm no Kenny Anderson. I'm just a supporting player in mm-hmm. all this, you know. Mm-hmm. And then being viewed at a skate park and not being able to skate the way that I wanted to skate and having eyeballs on me Mm -hmm. was a huge, like just this. Yeah. So I don't even know the words to say what it is. It's just, it made me feel like horrible, you know, that I was this, I, and it's probably all in my head. I was going to say, all it feel kind of like imposter sure. syndrome almost? Yeah, yeah. It, whatever, kind of. Man, that's so good. But I didn't even know that there was <laughs> something exists like that. <laughs> maybe not so much imposter, but just maybe like everybody expects something from me. Mm-hmm. I don't know what they expect from me, but I'm not living up to that expectation. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Especially yeah. at just a skate park that I go to because back in our day, we go to a skate park and like all eyes, you could feel the eyes on no you. Doubt. Yeah. You know, Definitely. and like that was a very, like it was a big burden. Mm-hmm. for me because yeah. I wasn't consistent like I had to work on all the tricks that I did I had to just just grind so long and far <laughs> <laughs> nice. but I had to grind yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> but I had to grind for every trick that I did no you doubt. know I yeah. wasn't like this first try guy so I felt a I felt a very burden on me yeah. going to these skate parks and just being that's why I just like to skate with my buddies because there I knew that there was no judgment for sure you know yeah I mean, I, I mean, I definitely felt the pressure of obviously being on grill and trying not to have that pressure, like kind of, you know, um, surround me. But like, I definitely dealt with it just because like, I mean, I'm skating with Eric Costin every day Ooh. and fucking and guy and just like having the expectation that I have to stand, stay on top of my shit. It definitely affected me a little bit. And then also I fucking met my girlfriend, and which Ooh. later would be my wife, which was so I didn't know that was going to be the case. But yeah. In in hindsight, I'm so thankful that I did spend a lot of time with my girlfriend, which would mm-hmm. we, which would entail to be my wife. You know what I mean? It was like that was like the grinding part that I definitely missed out on a lot of skateboarding that I should have been doing. 
so that I have almost like slightly regret, but it's not a double really. Sword, right? yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, but dude, it was a it was a tough moment to be in those in those certain situations because the pressure, yeah, well, of, of trying to maintain what people were obviously noticing me for early on and just to keep that momentum going and going further and further you know what i mean well i know that i me growing up watching this plan b video the 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 uh, you know all the plan b videos the the blind video yeah. like i had this weird thing in my mind that everything was like first try totally. you know and then to go to a demo and i'm like okay i'm gonna let eric costin and these dudes over here get the line. I'm going to be over here on this little ledge just skating, doing nose grinds, yeah. and then go out and talk to the kids and do yeah. whatever, you know? Which is also important. 100%. Fact, yeah. yeah. I think I'll, back then, I don't think team managers and companies understood how important that was. Yeah. Like the Not demos were cracking off. For sure. And yeah. I would go outside skate flat ground. And that's why I had met you. Met. Yeah. And there would be crowds around us yeah. playing skate. And I was like, that's what I'm going to do. Dude, I, 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 I swear I think S for me was like, it showed me that that was something, yeah. you know, because yeah. I started to just do that, you know, like I wasn't even really skating too much. I was more like fucking talking to everybody yeah. and like going to fucking the uh, sales meetings and like all this shit and like just really being a person for them to like talk to and like relate to and all this shit. Yeah. You know Bro, I mean? on some real shit. I mean, that's why I'm sitting here now is because right. of those types of situations. Like you guys doing that shit. Even when, um, I think it was a, a um pretty sweet trip mm -hmm. when i was like driving the van and shit mm -hmm. and just like being able to have those, those moments. relationships yeah. those moments those conversations Dude, i remember you hopping in your you whip, got in my whip. Bro. I I had the, he's know, like the i'm coming in the to truck. fucking california <laughs> yo but that That's like amazing. and even as a kid when people would come like and it would be fucking 105 degrees outside in casey at our demos and just to have somebody just like sitting on the board chilling with us on the sidelines talking having a yeah. Conversation. being a human yeah. being yeah. 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 yeah and we it wasn't like we're not we didn't have phones to document shit back then like those yeah. moments were precious right. and valuable yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. so as a pro that shit was so important too. i think yeah. it's also like you know you're sitting there next to him like you kind of want to see him skate too yeah. but you're like yeah, yo yeah. this is dope that you're just chilling but yeah, then, yeah, then yeah. you could just go play skate with them i would always do that you know like yeah. playing fucking, skate with them was yeah like yeah, yeah let's go play skate yeah, yeah, I, to yeah, this I day have, i, I never did that shit I'm not gonna let that happen. Sorry. Amazing. Yeah, nah, I would do my little trick in the demo, and then I'd be out, and I'd just go yeah. kick it outside yeah. and kick it. And because that, but whatever. if they if you lose, that's yeah. just like oh, that made amazing. Their yeah, that amazing makes their day. Yeah. Look, I like making people's days in other ways, but that ain't gonna be the way. You know really? I'll go give you a board. I'll give you some stickers and some shit. Make your day. But like, you ain't beating me in the game of skate, bro. Sorry. <laughs> we talked about we talked Dude, about let's this play before. skate. You, I'll play you. Yeah. I, I, when people I'll come up to you, you and they're like, "Let's play skate," you don't know them. You're like, "Fuck, I don't want to." That's off putting. Yeah, it's off putting. Yeah. But yeah. you want to win a demo. I want to say something real quick after I say this. You want to win a demo? Just try one trick the whole time. Land at the end. Your whole crowd. Will I did that a couple times. That's true. That worked. Yeah. It goes nuts. Yeah. You know who told me that? Huh. Mike York. Oh really? Okay. Mike York said the same fucking thing. Really? He's like, "Yo, just do. Don't land it first try." Yeah, it'll take a while. Just take a while. And yeah. people will go, <laughs> if they see you land a first try, unless it's something really gnarly, right. then yeah. they're like, holy shit, but if you try for a while, oh, yeah. they're like, fuck, they watch yeah. the Dude, process. After yeah, Mike York said good. that stuff, I remember like seeing like Costin doing stuff first try. And then I would see him like, you know, maybe try to battle it for a while. And the crowd after you try to battle something yeah. for a while they're they're with you then they're, yeah. war they're with you dude that's they're, funny yeah, they, i always they see the process. First they try. see the process yeah. man and they're they're invested in it for sure yes. yeah. that's like awesome. eldridge yeah there you go um, there you go i want to say looking back at my career i didn't turn pro to like way later and i i wish back then when i was younger when i first got sponsored i was more goal oriented and like plan things out i remember walk Ryan, he's like so like, yo, try to like, just look at like, if you want to get to, you want to film that part. I know it's like logical, obviously, but like, yo, plan a tricks out and go handle them one by one yeah. and then put it together. And I would just be like, no, I'm gonna go do what I want to do. I don't know. I, I I don't, if I don't feel it, I just, you know, I, I was like, work. dude, not to cut you out. I was yeah. like that the whole time until pretty sweet. I was uh, like, I'm going and I'm fucking getting these things that I want to get. Yeah. And I was more like, I had goals. I had fucking like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that this. spot. Yeah. You know, and also I was working with Mike Mo and it was like in a sense of like, we're not that we're battling, but we're trying to 
yeah, bat, it was battle clips. Yeah. We're fucking like trying to outdo each other mm -hmm. on getting. The, I got fucking thirty clips now. What do you mm -hmm. got? He's like, I got twenty seven. I'm like, you know, we're we're, we're yeah, you know, yeah, and that puts a bringing, battery in your back. Yeah, yeah bringing yeah. the best you have out of each to work other, with on uh, that? bro. Yeah, yeah. That's... And from him, from a young person, that that motivated me because yeah. I'm Mike Mode wants to do this. I'm like, let's go. Yeah. You know right, what I mean? right. So it was a uh, one of those little moments that definitely like, gosh, it, you encapsulate those moments. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. really cool. I think. Um, when I really started to like actually kind of thrive was in like when I turned 30, but it was like it, it, social media was every was was almost everything mm -hmm. at that point for a lot of people, especially in my career. And that made me got to do whatever I want. Like I could go do whatever Don Brown was like, yo, just go do whatever you want. I would just start posting mad shit. And that's that was the original way I wanted to do it when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like yeah. not like social media, but like yeah. just do whatever I wanted to do, and yeah. hopefully someone saw. I don't know. Yeah, and well, I was think, the same way. Yeah, so I, yeah. I don't. So you walk, look at like a, a Shad <clears throat> or Shane O'Neill and these dudes. Like they, they are they they, they handle their business. Oh my god, bro. they are Straight business. Up. They're business skateboarders. Almost like the, yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they they skate for like for the love and but they are really good at putting it together. Yeah, so they their sponsors are stoked, yeah, right? Sure. And dude, like yeah. let's not. I mean, they could have they could have be experiencing pressures and stuff too. Totally. You know? yeah, I mean, they those guys are like on top. You know, yeah. when you're on top, it's. So there's a lot of there's a lot, even if you're on top you're going to experience yeah. there's a lot that comes with even that. more so exactly. you know what I'm saying yeah. uh, so you know P-Rod's probably you know like oh I gotta film this Nike part I better come through like bro you, you saw how stoked he was to re-sign a Nike contract yeah. like yeah. bro yeah, that, that, that pressure is real yeah, yeah. 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 And, he showed you for sure and just yeah. even like that the, it, the part he had in the primitive video oh my how God. that brought yeah. so many people joy i don't know like mm -hmm. i don't know uh, yeah like no, for sure. it was nostalgia for all of us from that era and it gave the new kids something to like be able to go back to yeah. and as an older skateboarder seeing him like on the verge of being an older skateboarder mm -hmm. i was fucking highly impressed bro Absolutely. like he's yeah. doing shit that <laughs> Little young twenty year olds are doing right now, bro. Switch backside yeah. flip down that fucking bro, spot. That massive switch front bro, heel. I was like, yeah. that shit is a fucking big ass drop, bro. Yeah, that yeah. shit is no joke. Fresh mm -hmm. off of knee surgery too. Bro. So like, yeah, he worked for that. Yep, yep. straight big up. Ups. I think it was a good question. Yeah. There's a lot of pressures. You know, everybody may think it's just fun and games, and mm -hmm. I mean, we ride this little toy for a living. You know, it's a piece of wood. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot that comes with it. Do you guys you know? feel like your there... video part is like your resume, resume in a way? We're like, no, back I then, think, no. Back then it was, for sure. I mean, dude, if people saw your video part and they were stoked, that would get you a sponsor. Yeah. That would get you a sponsor, but now, then when people see you in public, you feel like you had to live up to it. Oh, That's what I was speaking of earlier, okay. was like this pressure of like what people see that's, on the screen a, i think that just comes with it you know what i mean but people are naive to the fact that if you think you motherfucker could land everything first try you're tripping that's just not reality right even with the dudes that land shit every try to a degree it's nobody's perfect yeah. nobody's gonna yeah. be landing shit every fucking time bro and even in in street league i'm like damn these motherfuckers are, are landing it every day yeah, yeah, but they yeah. aren't so it's just like <laughs> they you know what, what? Like, yeah, yeah, that, no but look, to your reality, point though it, yes it's like you get you get to a certain level where you can land these every time but then you want to uh, like you want to challenge yourself so they start doing harder tricks yes. that aren't right. gonna come yes. like, every uh, single that, attempt that and one, that's the thing i was highly impressed yeah. with i'm like bro the shit that the levels just got they're up here now exactly so yeah. doing this yeah. fucking 540 fucking front feeble down like bro like what are we doing you can't yeah. it's impossible to do that first try every time but dudes are damn they're yeah. doing it like yeah. kid Jinwoo is front blunt varial flipping down 10 to rail every try mm. it's crazy and, and you know like that one trick that we tried in our video part that took us maybe Eight different days to go get that for hours, and we land it one time. Kids are like, "Hey, do that trick!" Yeah. And you're like, yeah. But it's also the evolution. Those yeah, kids yeah. grow up watching this. Yeah, we yeah, grew yeah. up watching these people. Like it's yeah. it's just what they and, see. And yeah. some skateboarders take it in a different mentality, bro. I'm on some real shit, like where it's training now. You know, yeah. motherfuckers are training now. I don't yeah. remember training in my life. I went out yeah, and we skateboarded and had yeah. fun mm -hmm. on different little things I was skating at the time. And eventually, like, you know, you get better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't. You weren't training. Nah, either. motherfucker was not training. Like, I'm going to the courthouse to go skate. Like, I'm not going there to train. No. Yeah. Like, we're going to yeah. go skate. Like, I'm going to do 100 no slides and then I'm going to do a fucking. No, no we no, weren't no. doing none of that shit. But mm -hmm. dudes are doing that now. And big ups to them. No, you know, you start you start on the no slide, you work your way up. Anyways. That's what Paul was doing. Yeah, I know, day, but he was already on that, and yeah. it was already like 
That was he was on a mission. In his, his he already mentality. was instilled with that shit, mm-hmm. and, and very rare. And look at who it is. Exactly. It's Paul right. Rodriguez. I think there's yeah. a select amount of like that Kobe Mamba mentality. Yes. That, like those people are wired different. And it's patience yeah. too. You gotta oh, be yeah. patient. You can't just go out fucking let's go for gold right out the gate like mm-hmm. let's just Straight be up. patient and fucking do the 50 50s mm-hmm. do the board sides do your little thing stretch before stretch after yeah. let's go like you yeah. know like you don't gotta be this dude but you can if you just you know enjoy the process didn't y'all yeah. say guy would be the one who kind of like slowly bring yeah. the trick together yep. like mm-hmm. bits yeah. and pieces yeah. one yep. by one i mean yeah. mark too man yeah. mark was just someone to watch where you're like holy shit i thought you were this person you're not, but you are even better seeing the process. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it was fucking amazing to yeah. see that shit go. Baby it's steps like, his way right into it, and your next yeah. thing you and know, he's, he's getting into it, and then he's like, he did it. He's big, <laughs> but he's big chilling. He's like fucking got a. He went and got a coffee halfway through. Like, oh yeah, like, we in here yeah. like process. Yeah, like we in saying. here for like four hours. Motherfucker's like, <laughs> damn. And it, when he did it, it looked like first try. Yeah. Oh, for sure. You yeah. know. It's a good question, man. I think there's yeah. a lot of pressures that come with uh, skateboarding, you know, but uh, that's our, all of our pressures. If you ain't got no pressure, it's bro. Mostly you put it on yourself. Big up, oh, yeah. dude, totally. Pressure yeah. makes diamonds. There is a, it's a two-parter, though. Is there anything you would change looking back? I would here? just, the only thing I would change is just, if I could tell myself anything, is just like, just don't care what people what you think people think. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's what I, that's I would parlay the, off that and I would say be in the moment, man. Just be in the moment when you're right. fucking skating. Just, like, don't be distracted. Be in the moment. You don't forget I mean? why you're there. Yeah. And yeah. do you know how many yeah. times that, that, that is so true? First of all, don't, don't care what you think people are thinking because you don't know what they're thinking. That's the first part. True. But do you know how many people, do you know how many times like I'd be on tour and I'd be in like fucking Paris and I'd be like, dude, I just want to go home. Isn't that crazy? I'm like, that's wild. I'm in Paris, dude. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. I have a free ticket out here. We're getting taken care of. Some dude's picking us up from the airport. We're skating all these amazing spots. I want to go home. Yeah. But I mean, like, that's just like you know, you get homesick. You yeah, get, you know, that, what I mean, that's like, that's how that is. That's how that is. But, but, but when you said that, though, be in the moment. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. like don't take all that for granted. Totally. You know, it's like you're gonna, you're in Paris for a week. You know, and like it's gonna ex- be gone. experience that. Yeah. yeah. You know, be there. You yeah. know, and so those are some of the things that I would change. Yeah. You know, is just like being there and just not giving a fuck what people think yeah. of you. Mm-hmm. You know, straight up. Great, great, great question. question. I love these questions, man. They're bro. good, bro. The dialogue is impeccable. Tonight. If you guys want to join the conversation, just go to our Discord. Links in the description below. Sign up for the Discord. You could call into the show. You can go to the uh, channel on there called Get Involved. And do topic suggestions. Hit us up. Let us know what what's good, and yeah, we'll let you know what's good. You know, we're open book over here. Uh, Where is that like button? Right? Is it right here or right here? Just a little scroll um, coming down the bottom. It's it's subscribe over to yeah. It's on your it's on my left. Right? It's no, on my left. your left. Hey, yeah. Hit right that there. button right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, <laughs> the, the like button's kind of like in the in the right middle there. there. It's like we're kind of. Right oh, it's there. like right here. Kind of. Like yeah, right there. The subscribes like over to the left. <laughs> it's like right over there. <laughs> All right.